to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be doing an impressions of the new map Operation Hellgate. And I have to say straight up, this is one of the most original maps Nexon has done in quite a long time. Now, as you can see, this bar is continuing to rise. When it reaches that top point, this door, this gate will go and open, and hell would be unleashed, kind of, you know, the name Hell's Gate. <laughs> So saying that, this is really, really, really interesting. Because when you first think of it, oh, okay, you just got two sides and that's it, people die, whatever. But this map is really interesting because each side, that will go and alternate. So now we're in a different one. And each side has the advantage of being, one, uh, one side of each round has the advantage of doing a bit of an initial rush. As you can see, we've got open, open, right into the enemy base through these little gaps. And these are little gaps we can go in Russian and get a significant advantage or disadvantage depending on how you use it. If you're Russian and die, then obviously that's not going to be very good. But if you have a, a round, let's say a game where explosives are allowed, you can just chuck a nade in there and it will be some easy, easy kills. So these different battle zones, as I'm going to go and call it, really alternate. So this side this side we have a lot of nooks and crannies i can camp here and i am in relative safety now also the doors the way the doors open they go and alternate as well i don't know if you guys wait i'm really shit if, the, if you didn't realize that those doors opened a different way than last time so they can open from the bottom they can open from the top they can open from the bottom and the top at the same time so overall the map is continually changing so it doesn't really get boring and that's absolutely fantastic and along with that, you can play a lot of different. See, this is going from the side. Man, that shot, that shot should have... Fuck, that shot should have hit, man. I'm not doing very well, but... So, with that, the map continually changes, and therefore, you can go and do a lot of different play styles. Like, this hemorrhage guy is just going to rush out straight and die, but that's one way to go and play it. And, as you can see at the starting clip, I went and did that, and I absolutely dominated. So... You can also sit back, as I'll try to show you in this round, with, let's say, a sniper rifle. Seeing back there would have been a lot better, but that's okay. So, this guy's not going to box me in. Come on, jump, 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 come on. And I get sniped out. But as you can see, basically, this map has a lot of different tactics that you can go and use. And that is really, really, really good, in my opinion. So, I'm going to go and show you another tactic, and that is going to be a really rush-orientated one. Well, not so much rush, but very aggressive. I'm going to be seen right here, trying to go and limit the angles I can be taken out of. And with that, there's a lot of different strategies, and that is really awesome. See, they're coming from the top, so the people, the snipers, are going to get the advantage in this, this round. But here, if someone's behind there, boom, could have put them off. And there's one guy there. There. There's one guy there. These boxes tank so much, by the way. They take like four and a bit hits. So they're really annoying to try to go and destroy. Sitting on the ramps, really bad idea. Sitting behind boxes, as you can see, really good idea. Very hard to go and take them out. Especially, especially with a gun like an M416 CQB. But then, the map goes and alternates again. This one has a bit less cover. We've got this big pipe right here. So overall... The map design continually changes, and the door also, the speed of the door, of which the door opens, that can go and change as well. And so overall, this map is continually changing and dynamic, and this is what's really, really, I really like in a game like Combat Arms and a map from Combat Arms. When we have a look at the new, uh, the relatively new Deadly Dunes, whatever that map was called, I said I really didn't like it. It's relatively boring because the map is simply just the same thing. This changes every single time, except for this time where we're on the same one, but generally it goes and changes. It'll change for the other side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, as you can see, the other side didn't go and get that a uh, bit of that balcony area. I'm gonna try to pop out here and, oh God, yeah, I got sniped out, but each time 
it goes and changes and it's absolutely fantastic and I have to say I have really go I really 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 enjoy this and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well this is something that will take a bit of getting used to but the rounds are fast there's not much, too much camping that won't last for more than let's say 30 seconds and they're really interesting to go and play I'm gonna die yeah I'm dead but overall hopefully you guys enjoyed this overview I suggest to go and play it's one of the most interesting unique maps I played in a long time but other than that this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under out